right, hello, this is Marie Dyers, and I'm here to do a video. All right, but before I get into this video, my spirit guides, my angels, my archangels, my ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in and guide me, protect me always, 24-7, 365. I ask that you give me the clearest view of this video and this reading through any of the cards or anything that I decide to use and have in my hand. I ask that you immediately return any and all of the negative energies from people, places, and things, including ill will, intent, negative intent, etc. I ask that it goes back where it needs to go immediately, permanently, and out of my space of energy. Amen. All right, so I'm going to try to do a reading. All right, so this will be a... Um, divine masculine versus divine feminine. All right. So this could resonate for a divine feminine or this could resonate for a divine masculine. All right. So, um, yeah, I kind of have a title already. So the energy for this title is, it's like, it could be like, um, divine feminine or divine masculine. They could be having suitors like people that they consider to be suitors whether they know it or not they could be having these people approaching them all right so they're having these different suitors multiple it's like it's not even like one or two options it's like they got like they kind of got like a pick i want to say a pick of the litter all right so they kind of could have the pick of a litter with suitors coming towards them all right, so they could literally be having um, people coming towards them. Um, look, with the four of wands being right here. All right, so my phone is acting kind of, I don't know what's going on. I feel like with me doing this video, it's like zoomed in or something. I feel like it usually used to be like more zoomed out. I don't know. But anyways, um, that was a side note. But yeah, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine could be dealing with this. They could be having... Um, numerous multiple options of suitors coming towards them some of them are more of a match than others so i would consider those to be more like the ones that are more of a match i would consider them to be like i guess twin flame or something like that um yeah the eight of pentacles that wants to come towards the divine feminine or masculine to work on something to work on a relationship yeah some kind of wish fulfillment all right um, but then it could also be suitors that's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine, vice versa, whoever this is for. All right, they could be having people coming towards them also that is not really a match, but they're coming towards the divine feminine or masculine because they see that this person, um, they see who this person is. Like, it's something about them seeing who this divine feminine or masculine is, it's something that could be. Um, definitely attracting them to this divine feminine or masculine and that's why they're coming towards them but I feel like the divine feminine or masculine it has not really um, they haven't really uh, picked anyone yeah they haven't really picked anyone alright you do got the page of wands coming out with the two of swords at the back of the deck um, I feel like it also could be people coming towards the divine feminine or masculine that's not even really they're coming towards them, but they're not communicating. Like, yeah, yeah. And they're, like, going in and out of doing this. All right? They're in this energy of being, like, in and out. Like, they're in this Knight of Wands energy. So, this could be people coming towards the Divine Feminine or Masculine that are younger than them. Or vice versa. However it works. Or however it goes. But it's like, they definitely got people coming towards them that are either coming towards them with communication or coming towards them without communicating. So... They could be just coming towards them and just like, I feel like closely observing the divine feminine or masculine, or they could be actually coming towards the divine feminine and masculine and um, trying to uh, trying to make communication, but also trying to in some cases, the ones that are more um, I would say bolder than the other ones is like trying to. Um, trying to get like trying to get that spot or trying to get the divine feminine or the masculine 
a, a spot with them or whatever. Or trying to see if they could get it. Like, if they got the... If they have the opportunity to get in or something like that. But I just kind of wanted to do um, a reading on this energy. Alright? Because, like I said, the Divine Feminine and Masculine, they could definitely have multiple uh, suitors that are coming to them. Some of them are more of a match than others. Some are not. Alright? And they got also have options that are coming towards them that are communicating and not communicating with them yeah the knight of cups like they definitely been having like and it's like a lot of times it's like i feel like the divine feminine or masculine um i don't want to say that they don't see this coming it's just something about this two of swords like they could be either these people that's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine could be in this two of swords energy or that could be the Divine Feminine or the Masculine being in that Two of Swords energy. All right, but let's get um, three cards for the overall energy in regards to this reading. All right, we got the Devil that just popped out. All right, but I'm going to put it back. All right, so let's get like three cards for this overall energy in regards to um, this video, this reading. Can we get three cards, please, for this overall energy? All right, let's get three cards. I just see, also seen the Ten of Cups. All right, so we got the Five of Pentacles coming out first. All right, what else clarify this overall energy for this reading, this video? We got the Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's get one more card for this overall energy for this video. In regards to this reading. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the cards just want to, they want to spoot, they want to spoot out or spew out. We got the Two of Wands. So we got the Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. All right. It's kind of, yeah, that's giving me the energy. It's like, um, like I said, the Divine Feminine or Masculine could definitely have, um, like, this. the Seven of Pentacles is definitely that energy. That could have even been the Seven of Cups could have came out. And I still would have felt like, you know. But it's like people is coming towards the Divine Feminine with the intent to, um like plant some seed make some kind of investment all right um yeah it's like these people the divine feminine or masculine could definitely have like at least five people it's like at least five people and they could even have more people than that because like i said it's like people coming towards them that are uh more of a suitor or a match than others so it just could be some that's coming to see how far they get some of them are really coming with the intent to um uh you know get in get in that spot with the divine feminine or masculine whether they are considered a match or not it's just a lot it's like a lot of different um it's like a lot of people coming around is the divine feminine or masculine um and then it's like they come so close to the divine feminine or masculine and then they just kind of like <clears throat> I don't know if you consider it like freezing up or something, but it's like they coming towards, yeah, the Ace of Wands just flew out in the reverse. It's like them not, it's like, so with that, I get like the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands, you would consider that to be the, uh, the Three of Wands. So, yeah, it's like they coming towards the Divine Feminine or Masculine to, to, um, they come in towards the divine feminine or masculine to a certain extent, to a certain point, and then it's like they either they freeze up or they like stop or something like that. That's what I'm getting. All right, with that ace of wands flying out but falling on the ace of wands flying out in, uh, and I'm picking it up in reverse. Uh, so it's like they come into the divine feminine or masculine to a certain point and then they just like they freeze or they stop or it's like something is like something about it is stopping them in their tracks all right but like i said that's one point but it's then it's like it's other people that are actually coming towards excuse me the divine feminine or masculine and they're actually trying to um i want to what's that like taking their shot or yeah like taking their shot seeing if seeing if they can get in see if they are a, um how uh how far they could get or something like that yeah it's definitely um the divine feminine or masculine could be having 
multiple uh, options or whatever. Yeah, like the five of pentacles. Like I said already, it could definitely be like at least five people or whoever's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine. They feel like they definitely feel like they're out in the cold. They feel like because they're not like they're they're not getting some they're getting they're not getting some they're not getting somewhere with the divine feminine or masculine. So maybe this could be having them like in their feelings or feeling some type of way or whatever like that. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let me go ahead and light my sage a little bit more. All right. So what are we we going to clarify these cards? All right. And then I'm going to try to use like um, a oracle cards. I don't know if I'm going to use my oracle cards or one of my other oracle cards, but I'll just see what what it is when the time come all right but yeah so the divine feminine they definitely been having like more than one person coming towards them some of them more uh some of them more bolder than others the ones that are bolder that are coming towards the divine feminine they don't necessarily could be um like I want to say consider them not the right match but well maybe that is yeah I don't know um some of them could be considered to be like a, a good match some of them cannot be like I said it could be just some that's just coming with the intent to try to see how far they can get um see if they could get in with the divine feminine or masculine or trying to see how far they can get with with the divine feminine or masculine <clears throat> Excuse me, but let's clarify this uh, five of pentacles for this energy. What do we need to see to clarify this five of pentacles for this reading? Clarify the five of pentacles. All right. Ooh, we got the ten of wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like these, whoever these the people, these options that are coming towards the divine feminine or masculine, they definitely feel as if... Um, they're in that ten of wands. Like, I don't know. Like, they could be only coming towards the divine feminine ma masculine because they are dealing with um, things that are going on in their world. And maybe they feel like the divine feminine and masculine is some way that they could be able to um, alleviate some of those burdens or something like that. But then, yeah, you got the queen of swords in reverse. Um... But then it's like maybe they're not speaking on it or something. Or they're not like they're not coming out with whatever this is that has them. Um, there's not they're like they are definitely with definitely could be dealing with some kind of burdens or something heavily or multiple things heavily weighing on them. But I feel like they're not speaking on what that truth is. They're not they're not really giving that divine feminine or masculine that insight or something like that. Um, cause like I said, it's like, it could be some that's, some suitors that's coming towards the divine feminine that's bold enough to like, to make some kind of communication, whatever it is. And then there's other ones that are not. All right. What else to clarify this five of pentacles? Ooh. All right. So the page of wands is coming out again, but we do have a card that went on the floor. All right. So I have to get that card. So just hold on a minute. All right, so that was the uh, Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, so it's like for that to fall on the floor, it's like they could be not speak. They It's like they these people, options, these suitors, they could be dealing with stuff that's heavily weighing on them that they're not really speaking on the, the truth of it or the clarity of it. Um, but they could, with this page of wands, I feel like these are people, these are options or whatever choices, suitors that could be even younger than the divine feminine or masculine or vice versa or or maybe older just however it resonates they could even be having younger and older people coming to them um and i feel like they're also trying to come out of uh they're trying to think of some way creative way to come out of um this ten of wands like maybe they feel like the divine feminine or masculine could get them out of this get them out of this um this queen of swords energy that is reversed like they're trying to do they're trying to 
or trying to figure out some way to get out of the cold or trying to get out of not being a part of something with the divine feminine or masculine that's what i'm getting yeah and they're trying to think of some uh creative way to do that all right what else to clarify this five of wands yeah, this is something that these suitors, these options is waiting on for. All right, you got the three of wands that just came out sideways, but it's on top of the five, it's sideways on top of the five of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely something that um, these multiple suitors options is waiting on. They're waiting on some kind of, uh, they're waiting on some particular way to take some kind of action to come towards the divine feminine or masculine but like something is i feel like something could be holding them up on some some of them not all of them but some of something could be holding them up or maybe they could be actually feeling like the divine feminine or masculine is being a little um like closed off to them or something like that yeah so that they're so that they're not having some kind of victory it's like you got a lot of wands energy out here so it's like um you, it's like <laughs> um it's like a lot of these suitors or these options it's like a lot of them is definitely like i was trying to say in the beginning it's a lot of them want to take action it's like but they're not succeeding with taking this action because something is like kind of them something is getting them to a certain point like point and then it's like they freeze up or they stop yeah the knight of pentacles just came out knight of wands it's like they're going in and out of this energy all right because something is getting them to a certain point towards this divine feminine or masculine and then it's just like they freeze up or they stop or they don't go through with whatever this action is or taking some kind of action but they definitely could be watching watching this divine feminine or masculine like even watching this person online in some kind of um um one of the uh, some kind of platform all right yeah, because, like, they do. It's like these options, these these people that are feeling left out from the divine feminine or masculine, they definitely um, want to have a, a collaboration with the divine feminine or masculine. But for some reason, they're like, something is, like I said, something could be holding them up. Something could be stopping them. Maybe something is changing them, their mind. All right, I'm also getting with that page of swords that, came, that showed itself. It's like they could even be not... Um, celebrating with this divine feminine or masculine because of some gossip or something like that that's what i'm getting with the page of swords all right yeah like yeah now you got the lovers and the knight of pentacles but it's like you do it's like these divine feminine or masculine they do have options i feel like they could also be having options of the same sex or opposite sex even if they are not um you know they're not they could be not sexually attracted to the opposite sex yeah they got people coming towards them that want to have some kind of new beginning some kind of new relationship but i don't feel like that is all of the options that are coming to them these are there's not all these are not all the options that are coming towards them all right let's clarify this seven of pentacles in regards to this energy clarify the seven of pentacles in regards to this energy that's on the table yeah, you got this you got the lovers coming back out. Wow. So it's like, yeah, like I said, the divine feminine or masculine, they do have options, suitors that are coming towards them, whether they are male or female. They have people, they have these options that are coming towards them that could be a divine match. They could be the, the divine feminine or masculine's uh divine counterpart. A lot of these people could be uh single also or they could be in this nine of pentacles energy they feel like they have something to bring to the table whether they feel like the divine feminine or masculine has it already all right yeah like they coming towards the divine feminine or masculine with the intent to um work with the divine feminine or masculine like it's something that they want to put into what that divine feminine or masculine has already even if it is them even if it's some that's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine and that are not really um a like a a correct or right match they still have these options coming toward them with the uh 
they're coming towards the divine feminine or masculine with the intent to want to work with them. Yeah, now you got the four of swords coming out. I feel like with the four of swords, ace of wands, ace of wands, seven of wands, and then the two of cups. It's like some of them definitely, some of them are suitors where they want to come in quick to try to, maybe they feel like they, some of them want to actually, that are suitors, they want to, that, that, but it's like I said, some of them are coming and they only come into a certain point. They get to a certain point with coming towards the divine feminine or masculine and then they stop. So it's like the ones that are, that could be coming towards the divine feminine that are, um, you know, more of a match or whatever. They are only coming towards some soul points. They are only coming to a certain point and they do have the intent to work with the divine feminine or masculine because they feel like maybe they feel like it's something that the divine feminine or masculine um that they can help the divine feminine or masculine heal from and it's like they want to they've been that's why i feel like the divine feminine or masculine been having so many of them come to them so quick it's like it's so many people it's so many options or uh suitors coming towards the divine feminine or masculine very fat like very quick or whatever like like it's one person come and then it'd be some someone else and then it'd be another one. And then, um, but it could be somebody that is like directly a divine match for the divine feminine or masculine. That also could be like an earth angel, like the divine feminine or masculine. But I feel like whoever that is, they are, they are coming in very slow. All right. You got the seven of swords that's coming out. What about this seven of swords in reverse in regards to the seven of pentacles? Clarify this seven of swords with this. All right, you got the eight of swords that just came out sideways. I feel like now. So now you got the eight of swords. It's something about communication. I feel like whoever this person that could be a earth angel, a divine counterpart for the divine feminine or masculine. It's something about communication. I feel like they could be in their head. All right, you got the King of Swords with the uh, Tower and the Empress with the Four of Wands. They they're in their I feel like they're in their head about some kind of communication about like maybe it's like they don't want to come in. They it's like in they're holding something back. It's like they want to come towards the Divine Feminine or Masculine, but they don't want to. It's something about them not wanting to come in. The Seven of Swords like they don't want to come in like. Um, a deceptive way or a sneaky way or something and they kind of could be in their back and forth in their head about this or something like that hold on let me hold on a minute all right yeah it's like the divine it's like whoever these people or i mean excuse me whoever this earth angel whether they're a divine feminine or masculine that's coming towards their um divine counterpart um it's like i feel like they're kind of like conflicted or something about it's conflicted about some kind of communication or i feel like maybe they're conflicted but uh, conflicted about um communicating with this divine feminine or masculine it's like because you got a lot of air energy out here it's something about communication all right something about um this communication Pertaining to planting some kind of seed or an investment with this divine feminine or masculine. Yeah, it's I feel like it's ace of cups. I don't know if it's like it's maybe because they see that this divine feminine or masculine is having so many options and they do have a lot of people that's having their eye on them or something like that. You got the eight of wands, two of pentacles with the page of swords. Maybe it or it's like when they come towards this divine feminine feminine or masculine they want them that the earth angel whoever this earth angel is they want them to choose them they want them to they want the the earth angel wants the divine feminine or masculine to choose them and i feel like that could be the truth all right with the ace of swords it's like they're not coming in here with they're not coming in with some kind of um like motive or something like that i feel like they're they want to come in with 
but I feel like it, it's still something that's kind of like preventing them from coming all the way towards this uh divine feminine or masculine all right so two cards just came out you got the tower in the reverse with the four of pentacles yeah you got the tower in reverse with the four of pentacles um let me see what's what's that the eight of pentacles I feel like they're holding back that um, this communication because it's like if they it's like if they was to put in if they was to start I feel like if they was to start putting in some kind of work with the divine feminine if the earth whoever this earth angel is because I feel like that's who what the divine feminine or masculine can be too they can be an earth angel so that's why I feel like some of them could be more of a a right match than other ones because some of them is i feel like it's just coming in for like the hell of it all right um but i feel like they definitely want the divine feminine or masculine to choose them all right they definitely feel like they or in this like they could know that they are the divine feminine or masculine's um true match or something like that but it's like if they put in some if they start putting in some kind of work they don't want um I'm getting like rejected. They don't want to be rejected. They want to they want to be able to come in and be like um free. They want to be free with the divine feminine or masculine. They want to be free to uh be able to communicate and stuff like that. Yeah, look, you got the 10 of cups, the 2 of pentacles and the 7 of pentacles with the ace of swords at the back of the deck. Oh my god. Wow. That is yeah and it's like they could be in some kind of and it's like because they're holding this back they could be kind of like they could they could be kind of in two minds about this i see 20 i just seen 27 18 on the clock all right what else so let's clarify this two of wands for this energy that's out here you got the five of swords all right five of swords with the temperance card at the back of the deck Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. All right. Um, I don't know. I'm getting like they could be waiting on. They're waiting on something like there's some in far as far as communication. I feel like whoever the these suitors are that or whoever this because they want to have this Ten of Cups, but whoever these um because that came out fast. Um, whoever these suitors that are more of a divine match or more of a true match for the divine feminine or ma uh, divine feminine or masculine, I feel like they're waiting on, I don't know if they're waiting on the divine feminine or masculine to choose them or it's like they're waiting for, maybe they're waiting for these other options to get restless or something. I, I don't know. It's something. Yeah, they go to two of wands with the knight of wands because for some reason they could be even willing willing to like like fight for their chance or something like that. That's what I'm getting with the two of wands, the knight of swords, and the justice card with the star card at the back of the deck. But um, I don't know if it's like I feel like they could be waiting for these other options to get restless or something about like they don't like I don't feel like they. Because the Five of Swords talks about conflict, confusion. All right, now you got the King of Swords coming out. Or maybe this is just them. Like, they don't want to be confused or conflicted about this communication when it comes to the Divine Feminine or Masculine. And it's I feel like it's like they already know um, that they want this Divine Feminine or Masculine. But I feel it's like all about them taking that taking that extra step that need a step to make it uh as far as communicating to let the divine feminine or masculine know that they want you know they want um they want this relationship with the divine feminine or masculine now the four of wands is just coming out in reverse all right you do have the three of swords with the devil at the back of the deck all right so it's like i'm getting from the four of wands coming out in reverse 
they know that, like I said, they know that the divine feminine or masculine could have people coming towards them that are not really um, here for, that are not really fated for this connection with the divine feminine or masculine. They know that, and I feel like this is why, maybe they could be trying to cut, they could be trying to um, cut out these competitors, like whoever, I'm getting competitors, so they could be looking at these other options or something as competitors or something like that, like as if, you know, you know how with the, like in the, in the, in the, in the, retail world or something like that you know like retailers they have competitors and stuff like that i don't know i just got that i feel like they could be maybe they could be some way trying to cut out these competitors or um i don't know something like that because they do want to have this ten of cups with the divine feminine or masculine but they know that these other people are not this divine feminine or masculine's uh they're not fated to be with this divine feminine or masculine. They're not. They're not fated. They're not uh, a suited match to be uh, with this divine feminine to have all this. Uh, I want to say prosperous energy. All right, or may, prosperous energy, prosperous manif uh, manifestations. You know, as far as working together as. Um, I what I was gonna say homely unit or something like that. I don't know. That's what I was getting. Um, clarify this four of wands in reverse for this two of wands. Clarify the four of wands in reverse for the two of wands. Clarify the four of wands in reverse for the two of wands. You yo, you got the seven of pentacles that just came out, but it's coming out sideways on top of the seven of pentacles. And it is like okay, so it's on the top part. Top it's uh, excuse me, it's on the top spread of the seven of pentacles, but it's coming out sideways, so it's leaning on top of the five of swords and the ace of swords. All right, but that was the seven of pentacles, so yeah, I definitely feel like um, whoever this, this uh, whoever this suited match is for the divine feminine masculine i feel like they are trying to like maybe they could be trying to weigh out the um competitors or whoever these other options is or it's like they don't want to be confused about something about they don't want to be confused about the divine feminine or masculine um choosing them or the divine feminine or masculine already knowing that they are choosing them or something like that. What else? Clarify this two of wands. Yeah, they don't like they don't want to be. They don't want to be in limbo or something about this investment or this like planting the seeds with the divine feminine or masculine. Like they don't want to like they don't want to be in limbo about this whatever they uh this action is that they want to take with this divine feminine or, ma or masculine. They don't want to be in um yeah it's like they don't want to be in limbo about it or they don't want to be feeling like they're being juggled. Or maybe vice versa, divine feminine or masculine feeling like this, or whoever the suitor, whoever this uh, correct match is. Yeah, I did see with the seven of cups already. Now it's coming out. All right, they don't want to be. They don't want it to be any illusions about what is fated for um, this relationship with with the divine feminine or masculine, with the ten of pentacles, the will of fortune, the knight of cups, and the king of cups being at the back of the deck. And look behind that, the two of wands again. Wow. 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 Alright, let's get one more card for this two of wands. Okay, I just seen the Empress. Let's get one more card for the two of wands. We got the king of wands. Yeah. Whoever this divine... Oh my... God. <laughs> Whoever... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> OMG. Whoever this divine feminine or masculine, whoever their divine counterpart is, they definitely don't want it to be no illusions about this investment that they want or this or this 
the seeds that they want to plant with the divine feminine or masculine because they they know that they do even though they could be one of the people that is coming so coming so far to a point towards the divine feminine or masculine and then they're like kind of stopping or freezing up they know that they are the divine feminine or masculines um correct or the or true match but they don't want it to be any they don't want anything like in the way i feel like they don't want they don't want anything in the way they don't want nothing to stop them they don't want it to be any um yeah seven of cups i'm just gonna again like they don't want it to be any other choices i feel like they want to they want to like they want all of the other options to kind of like um like remove themselves i'm getting like somebody like picking something out of out of a basket or something like that and they're trying to like look for a particular thing this is kind of what they want these other options to do or something like that. i don't know something like that it's like they want the other options to kind of like um just eliminate they self on their own or something like that all right because they want to have this justice they want to have this um did they want to have this with the divine feminine or masculine like whoever this is whoever they're going towards with the knight of swords also being at the back of the deck so that they can have this communication oh my god so they could have like this happily this you know i don't want to say it like as the you know the story books this happily ever after but that is what i'm getting wow yeah sun card three of swords because they don't want to be um they don't want to be heartbroken maybe they have had to deal with that in the past or something like previously maybe had they had to deal with some kind of heartbreak or being heartbreaking over somebody that they thought or they felt was their their true match all right yeah so they and and they could be kind of in this up like i don't want to say obsessed energy in a bad way but Yeah, because you got the sun, three of swords, the devil, the five of wands with the knight of pentacles. And then but and then behind that you also have the king of Pen king of pentacles, uh, the magician, and the queen of pentacles. So I feel like with the will of fortune and the knight of cups. So I definitely feel like this person, whoever this divine masculine or feminine's uh counterpart is they are definitely showing up in more than one suit, all right? And this is something that um, the divine feminine or masculine that has the that person coming towards them as their true, uh, you know, true uh, counterpart or match, they are manifesting it too. So, like, both of these, both sides have been or have been, like, manifesting their... Uh, the the correct person that is for them i feel like let's actually use this one and then i might use that one let's use this one all right because we are 38 minutes in all right sometimes when you be getting in these well yeah you be getting in these readings the time you just zooming by all right, let's get a few cards from this Oracle deck to clarify this energy that is on the table. I'm seeing baggage, all right? So maybe this is something that they, this is why, like, whoever this true match is or even these other options, something with baggage could be significant, whether they feel like the Divine Feminine or Masculine have dealt with that or this is what they're dealing with. Um, it just all, it just take how it resonate or however it resonates. All right, yeah, we do got eight in Virgo with grapes. Grapes talks about abundance, bearing fruit, harvest, fertility, merriment, prosperity, surplus. I think I said something about prosperity. You got fullness, juicy, overindulgence, tempting, goodness, uh, plentiful, wealth, enjoy the fruits of the, your labor. So I definitely feel like they could be seeing this with the divine feminine or masculine. They see this person as very abundant, uh, fer fertile, prosper prosperity, juicy, uh, tempting, goodness, plentiful. What else to clarify this energy that's on the table? What else we need to see to clarify this energy that's on the table? Please and thank you. What else? 
All right, yeah, I'm telling you, two and two and cancer telephone communication, or excuse me, telephone. It does say communication on there. All right, so yeah, it's like like I said, the divine feminine or masculine can definitely have um, all these different suitors options. Some that are more of a true match than others that are coming towards this divine feminine or masculine with the with the intent to communicate. You got telephone. It says connection, communication, conversation, getting through, getting through, two-way street, message, vocal, loud and clear, reaching out, notification, throat chakra, inner voice, rings a bell, all right? Yeah, something about a bell could be significant, all right? You got two in Taurus at the back of the deck with tandem bicycle, synchronized, alliance, duo, partnership, unison, equality, collaboration, all right, uh, togetherness, sympathico, aligned, hookup, cooperation, harmony, help, join, two of a kind. What else to clarify this energy that's out here on the table? Is there anything else? Yeah, I see the, um, what's that, crystal ball? All right, so that's turned over in the deck. I'm trying to go a little fast because I don't know how much this is going to record. All right, so we got one in Scorpio. All right, we have crystal ball. It says intuition, premonition, seeing clear, discernment, um, perception, sixth sense, instinct, divination, future planning, ESP, past, present, future, gut reaction, and inner knowing. Yeah, you got eight in cancer. Every time I see the cancer sign, it just makes me think from my card that I can't find right now. Um, but it, you know, cancer talks about home and family. All right, so you got well, it says deeper meaning, community, hidden emotions. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person has hidden emotions. Whoever's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine, who's this, um, who's like this divine feminine or masculine's, uh, more true match. All right, they do have some kind of hidden emotions. It also says nourishing social resources, true feelings, support, savings, perception, um, sub substance, sustenance, looking deeper, provided for consciousness. All right, we do have winter coming out here. All right, it says waning quarter, the chrome within nine to 12 months. So something could be um, taken off between the true divine feminine and masculine and their um, true match within the winter time or just something about the winter season could be significant. All right, that's in Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. All right, you do have one in Sagittarius with five in Leo at the back of the deck. They're both talking about like one is bonfire, the other is dynamite. All right, with fortress, one in uh one in Aquarius with fortress. All right, bonfire is talking about enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, um, passion, ecstasy community all right so you got two cards out here talking about community you got sharing ideas getting things going orgasm uh fantas fantasism fant fanticism fever fierce all right you got dynamite dynamite talking about excitement passion um action uh suspense destroy um break up catalyst for change explosive sudden unexpected fast all right yeah wow let's try to get a couple of these cards from this deck all right let's see is there anything else from this part of this oracle deck that we need to see excuse me to clarify the energy that is currently on the table for this reading what else do we need to see to clarify this energy that is on the table all right what is this Ooh, whoa we got 81 with abandoned it says lack for dead left for dead deserted lack of support cast off rejected dismissed can't sit with us so yeah some of these people that are coming in as options towards the divine feminine or masculine they could be um feeling like they okay hold on Ooh. All right, so with that abandoned card, it says left for dead. Some of them, maybe this is what the true divine feminine or masculine's um, correct suitor or whatever. This Maybe they have been abandoned in the past. Something about abandoned, all right? Like a relationship could have been re abandoned or some of these options could be even feeling rejected. I also seen, um, uh, 
damn rebound at the back of the deck before i started shoveling but now you have thirst trap all right yeah attention seeker needy willing to sell their soul all right yeah some of these options could be um thirst trapping all right towards this divine feminine or masculine all right so something about that could be significant whether they are male or female or yeah whoever these are that's coming towards the divine feminine or masculine is there anything from this else from this deck to clarify this energy that's on this table in regards to this reading anything else from this part of the oracle deck to clarify the energy that's on the table anything else from this part of this oracle deck to clarify the energy that's on the table Ooh, we got better love 166 better love it says someone else is better for you all right we got someone good has their someone good has their eye on you on you uh someone good has their eye on you someone else is better for you yeah i definitely feel like that's who that true um who the divine feminine or masculines true correct counterpart is they are they are the better lover all right yeah but they could be <laughs> they could be admiring from afar all right you also got that at the back of the deck 92 it says they can't excuse me it says they can look but they can't touch online stalking so maybe this person could be even online stalking all right yeah 92 breaking down to um 11 it's like they do it's do giving me the energy of the two of wands they do want this divine feminine or masculine, the whoever the true suitor or the true suitor correct match. I can't even get the words together, but they do want the divine feminine or masculine to choose them. Or they already know that they want to choose the divine feminine or masculine. It could be either or or both or whatever. Anything else to clarify this energy on the table in regards to this reading? Anything else? Please and thank you. Anything else from this part of the Oracle deck to clarify this energy that's on the table? Anything else? All right. So, no. Um, let's try to use this other part of the Oracle deck. And I feel like I might be done with this reading. All right. I could close it out with the... Um, Let's see. Let's use the Kipper deck. I haven't been using my other Kipper deck, but let's use the Kipper deck. Is there anything from this part of this Oracle deck that needs to be seen to, to close out the energy that's on the table? We got Ripple Effect. 164 Ripple Effect. It says, one event produces other effects. Your actions affect your future and others. All right, so something about that could be significant. All right, we got avoidance. Yeah, something about avoidance. I feel like this person who is, um, yeah, and then you got grieving heart that's turned, uh, wanted to come out. You got feeling guilty and all and feeling guilty and apologetic, willing to reach out. Yeah, but you do have new beginnings at the back of the deck. All right, so I'm gonna take both of those. Yeah, I definitely feel like with that other card that was trying to that was showing itself too. This the, the person that is the, the true divine match suitor for this divine feminine or masculine or both they definitely could be kind of avoiding the divine masculine or uh feminine in some kind of way all right something about a grieving heart all right that's that is giving me the energy of that three of swords that came out with the tarot all right give me one more card to clarify this energy that's on the table what is that yeah, you got Nave um, romantically, all right? It says inexperienced and overly romantically, romantic, excuse me, easily tricked or manipulated by others. So, yeah, they may have been something that that's part of that, like, energy that they have dealt in the past, all right? So, I feel like that could be why, like, the Ten of Wands was coming out in the beginning for whoever this, uh, this true match uh, person is. That suitor for the divine feminine or masculine, they have could have dealt with these two kind of cards. You got grieving heart and you got knave romantically. All right, they could have dealt with someone who easily tricked them and manipulated them in some kind of way. All right, they could be feeling guilty about something. I don't know, maybe even just guilty because they're not communicating or something like that. I don't know, just second how it resonates. All right, and I'm going to close it out with, uh, I guess I'm going to use the Kipper deck. All right, look at the back of the deck. You got Earth Angels. So, yeah, I definitely feel like whoever this person is, 
Um, and I feel like they could also might have like at least they could have at least divine feminine or masculine could be having at least two earth other earth angels that are coming towards them. But all right, I said they only coming to them to a certain point or whatever, and then they kind of like they they kind of stop and. Or something stop it like whatever they're going through or whatever's on their mind or keeping them in their head is keeping them from coming like all the way towards the divine feminine or masculine you got awakening all right that's came out you got abandonment yeah so something is significant about abandonment all right you got that out here twice all right so this is definitely something maybe they feel like either the divine feminine has or masculine dealt with or this whoever this person that is like that that um that true match for the divine feminine masculine they could have actually actually have to do had to deal with that too like both of these people the divine feminine masculine and whoever their their counterpart is they both could have dealt with some kind of abandonment yeah something about ice king they could try to come off as being like they are very cold but they really do want a commitment these all just flew out while i was trying to shuffle you got shuffle. I mean, you got shuffle. You got community, family, and priest that came out. All right. So, I'm going to put those back. All right. Yeah, it's like they definitely want, with that three at the top of the commitment, it's like they definitely see themselves being in some kind of long-term uh, collaboration with the Divine Feminine or Masculine. Anything else? All right. Anything else to close out this reading? Anything else? To close out the reading that's on the table. Yeah, I'm going to close out with these two cards. You got travel and relationship. Yeah, it's like they definitely are looking to start some kind of new cycle with this divine feminine. And it do include a lot of stuff. You got abundance and bliss and wow. And <laughs> look at that relationship card. They look like they are definitely happy together. All right. Yeah, that's cute. All right. So you got commitment uh travel and um relationships so maybe something about travel could be significant all right they can see they self traveling with the divine feminine or masculine they definitely can see a marriage or just a long-term uh committed relation healthy like they see a long-term healthy committed relationship with the divine feminine or masculine all right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I wanted to use work cards, but I'm not because I really don't know how much my phone is going to record. All right, I'm surprised it recorded all of this, all of 52 minutes. All right, so yeah, I'm going to close this reading out here. All right, if you haven't subscribed already, you're more than welcome to. All right, if you want to be a new subscriber, you're more than welcome to. I will continue to keep uploading to my channel at my time and discretion when I feel the need or the want to. All right, subscribe, like, comment if you want. All right, watch any videos that is currently on my channel because I'm going to continue to keep uploading videos. And I'll see you later and I'll see you when I do the next video.